welcome back to another Lombard's uh, Tiller playthrough. It's been a short while, for now I apologise, I'm a little bit lost to where I am, but I had a little glance about and the only thing I could do currently is uh, really build forces here, or build a building here, or build a building in one of the places that we sort of went and pushed against the Avars. Um, two mines really, I'm just kind of attempting to build a uh, little guardhouse here, one to increase the public order a little bit, plus provide um, the additional garrison. That's going to be pretty fucking useful. Or here, even make it into a water mill to get some little bit of extra benefits out of the agricultural land that I got here. Especially since uh, squalor is not the best. Got a little bit of public order, I guess, from that. Or even again, focus on the public order. Even a surface mine just to get the extra, extra money in. Unsure to really how we're feeling right now. Uh, I'm going to look at my uh, promises actually. Only Rome and uh, Lombardy itself is actually positive. Don't know what's wrong with this place per se. Let's fucking how do we find out here again? Worst one is taxes and the most recent events. That's part of uh That's actually part of Rome, which is odd. It's one of the few places I'm in benefit. Don't know what's wrong either with this place. Again, taxes, religious differences, that's gonna be the main one. So here if I can I probably want to build some form of um Christian building. Sadly at the moment there is not any uh, open areas for me to actually build up. Same with this place. This place is uh oh, okay. It's not shit as bad as bedding. So I think here I'm gonna get something that's gonna add a little bit of public order to my um shit at the same time. Don't really want to get a master for. I don't need the um the troop side of life. Gives me that energy. See, I also got this though for that. That's something I shouldn't really have to worry about. I think something to sort of help ease the cash flow would be something a little bit more uh, benefit. Graph is all going to be useful because now they'll soon be able to build up more stuff again. How much in danger are we here? We're minus 3 at the moment or minus 50 overall. Minus 3 per turn, I know what I mean. And I believe you know what I mean. This is going to be a bit of a headache here. It's one of those things that people like, well, just build that because it's going to be the simplest thing. That's going to give me growth as well as smash up. Alright, I'll feed in all fairness. While it's heading, it brought me uh, just generic garrison. But only plus one. Plus three. Plus two, let's see. At least with the other things, it gives me some form of benefit. Might just throw that in just to help keep it buffed up. Should hopefully get quite a few men pictured in. Right, the war against the Avaris. Let's see how this is going to go here for us. Because at the moment, we've only got our ally, um, Croatia here. I'm not too sure if they are our ally or something a little bit better. Okay, but they're just generic. Generic actual allies. Time to, now to push up. Just getting to uh, Mozambique here. It's actually not part of any host of land. How much can we run away run to? If you go here, I doubt you'd be able to get enough vision to see down there, would you? I'm not even sure if you can reach that far. Oh, this has a gold deposit. I think that actually might be worth trying to hit more than just a generic uh, capital. It's making no actual cash flow though. I'm not entirely sure how this nation's just sort of chucking on in. Chugging on. When you get a rebellion here by the looks of it though. Might have been why I spilled the thing. Why should it's the uh, religion here then? Most of it is Tangerism. Okay. Alright, well, actually, it's my tube thread here. It helps like a little more fucking bum. Alright, I think we should just end this. We're not actually in an open war with these guys yet. Oh, well, now look. We're not actually at war with these. Actually, are we openly engaged in conflict here? Uh, the Avars, obviously, that's no, no who's surprise. The Franks and the obviously separatists. Being at war with the Franks is probably going to be the worst one, in all fairness. Alright, what have we got here? We've got a few spearmen, a few archers, some really fucking shit units, to be honest with you. But at the same time, as do they. <laughs> and they've got a decent set of cavalry, though. To battle! Two strong cavalry units. 
I'm looking at it like I don't know how we can fail them. Archers would deal most of the damage. We'll go for it, see what happens. I could bring my force out from the south just to reinforce a little bit, but I was like, eh. Arguably, it shouldn't be that difficult. It depends what the AI decide to do. Because in my plan currently right now, I bunch the uh, shit. They're gonna have towers, aren't they? Control of the actual uh, barricades there would be the worst thing for me. And you get to die send the smallest unit in first to absorb the fire. Always a good idea in theory, but uh, the downside if they route because they are so low, I man. Made to make everyone go off after this, and I'm gone. Might mind just hiring a merc unit, send them in first. Right. Jumping on in, rain, rather than wake, so I've got the uh, the range advantage. Nope, still raining them. Okay, let's go. They've got one hour tower there, hour tower over there, and that's probably what I'm most concerned about. So my engagement really has to be done from over here. All these fuckers can one shot right next to each other. You can't march in spear wall, can you, if I recall? Well, you can, but it's painfully slow. I don't mind it being painfully slow. Target first with our um, archers. Army wants to save the spearmen. Have sighted the enemy. Looks like they're pulling back. In fairness, I don't really know to why. Putting so smart enough to try and get out of the range of the uh, fucking arrow fire. What a good lord! I'll do one volley. See how much that takes down. They have got a little bit of cover there. Start with 34 out of 80. Kind of hoping that my um, the most important thing for me really is the ammo consumption that I'll be using. I always have to be careful of um, the swordsman when cutting to them. Small benefit of it being quite a few narrow lanes, the um, small force numbers of my spearmen isn't really too much of a hindrance in comparison. We'll get some decent shots off there. I'm not entirely sure what's worth doing with these. I tend to, f well, I found in um, Rome, I believe it was, that there was not a lot of point to really uh, utilizing the additional fires because it would end up just costing you too much ammunition. And in the long run, your guys are just a little bit less effective. Something in Shogun, however, or Shogun 2, more specific. Some people like to always question it when I say one. But I go, oh yeah, I'm playing Rome. I'm playing Rome, why not Rome 2? That's what I meant, it's the newest one, right? I was falsely believed it was Sword of Intention. I'm going to change the fire now into the uh, Sword of Melee units because obviously that's going to be the ones that's going to cause me the most hassle. So, try and clear them out of the way. Both sides of Calibre down here now, so the Skirmishers are still hidden here somewhere, and I believe that was all they really had was the Skirmishers, the Swordsmen, and then the two um, Calibre units. So, I'm just going to keep firing much as they can upon them. I wonder actually if I put this into normal play motion a minute. Let me see if I can um, try and bait them out a little bit with uh, the cavalry. Come down horse, it's all good. You find it funny, look. You just hold that up there, just fucking arrow just cunt the horse in the neck. I'm 
so so when you think you got a really good position and you see your guys fire and all the fucking shots fly like, dead in the but like the hill in front of them go yep maybe that's not gonna work there what the fuck's this thing on it it's all broken bit of text from here it's all overlit 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 not um quite laughing correctly <laughs> Yeah. It's gonna be something that I feel like I'm gonna have to keep really pushing for. It's quite irritating in some regard. Alright, oh, movement is happening. Set off fire over there. It looks like they're pulling back. There you go. They start to walk back a bit. Riders, move out, back up. We're pretty much out of ammo now, so we're gonna have to rely just on just on the strength of our men. I do feel like now we've prob probably got enough men just to hold, kind of want them to come right at us. It's this is what I'm concerned about, the fucking extra charge. I'm not sure how much bonus that will give them in the charge. If I get these two there, these two, oh, just you two, go there. What do you need to have someone? These uh, skirmishers are going to give me the nice thing. Spears ready! Heaven and right! 
screw myself to defense, man. I'm gonna need that extra push there. Hopefully these guys won't really Oh shit. The enemy has killed our general. The men lose heart. Our men the men's resolve is failing. It's, it's not round. We've got a strong position here. They can't really do much. Alright. Look at that, okay, I'll just break away. Alright, that was GG. <laughs> it's gonna be a fast motion, there's no real need is there. But well, I'm not gonna do it with one fucking set of men. Problem there is that I sent my general straight up. Lost to general, that was it. It would have been quite a long fight, but I reckon they would have held all in all of my troops. Then use the general tools again to hit to run down the uh, skirmishers. Keep them preoccupied. And the downside is they spot you on the way, because when you're charging at them, they go, yep, let's just have everyone's full pulsing. Yeah, we lost. Disengage! Gathering supplies. I don't know what's in the downside, battle. isn't it? Let them cower like kennel dogs. Oh, what are you zero? I don't believe my overall attack is of that high speed. I don't know if we can just um. I don't even know where taxes are kept to in this game. I know where they are on um. Nope. <laughs> oh fuck me, where? That's where you find out that I also don't play this game enough. Oh, it's gonna be right in the fucking treasury train of finance. Sadly to me, I'd rather have 600 and a few annoyed people. For now. Like, I don't think we're really that close to being fucking broken up here. At your command. Uh, I can't believe that that is a thing. That's quite an annoying. You even got funds for this to shoot mercenary units to throw in there. How close are you, At army in Rome? I mean, you can take it in one, but. We hunger for battle. Ready for orders. How much are we on anyway? We're on minus six. I would leave be minus twelve. I don't think these guys will come out and initially charge into me. Let's do you. Let them cower like cattle dogs. Just Ready for orders. Alright, so I don't want to forget and faff about all of this. You just come back. You go in. Repair that at least, right. Fucking hell. This game lost a little bit of extra cash. Not too sure if I'm actually going to want to much. No, I want to get the gold deposit, aren't I? That's straight out rebellion next turn, so we'll probably have to march out the turn after next. Just to see if we can get it rolling. I don't think they're gonna come at me. It's gonna end there, we've got our fucking skills, mate. Who are your governor of Let me see who they are a second. They're part of the other nobles, so I don't think I want to give them too much um, actual influence again. I like how these guys have died off. Very fickle bit right now, alright. Because they're probably the other nobles, I won't give them any actual personal influences. Apart from that one, apparently. Give you additional authority, and I'll give your men additional um, 
experience. Going to be roughly the same as well for you, my friend. To get a little bit cheaper cards down on the back, give you a bit of additional authority as well. All right, we'll see where we're going to be standing at the end of this turn. I believe there'll be a rebellion in the Avaris Kingdom. Oh, probably the territories that we got. The force I got here in um, Genova is pretty there to stop any aggression from the west, mostly from the Franks and, of course, their allies there that have uh, Nice at the moment. An end to talk. The people will be pleased to add your lands to our domains. What's wrong with you? Croatia. Come on, man. I step up and fight the Avars for you so you don't get fucked. But nee. Right, now we've got fucking shit happening. Right. We've got rebellion there. Your orders. Can I assist you further? For death and honor! Why the Sorry guys. And heal a resolve. We've got three minutes left as well, so I'm just gonna fucking fast forward to go past it. What do we even have here? A couple of cavalry, spears, archers. Well, I just have a standard set up. In a way that once it's been done, hopefully my archers just kill them all. <laughs> uh, let's not have rain. Alright, that's all the point. Let's get this shit done and over with. Come back here. Nah, I want your archers in the front because you're going to be doing all the fucking damage. Just behind is going to be a long line of spears in case they actually have the balls to fucking charge. And behind that again will be the cavalry. Oh. I'm quite surprised to see them actually much forward. The enemy should know when the odds are hopeless. Yeah, they should know. I should know as well, hence why I was going to go and re order resolve. Are they not firing? They are. Maybe I should tell them who to fire against. <laughs> I charge him from the side. The enemy is going for our general. Protect him. Orders understood. Is that at least? Just to get these guys set to go to the two one. Bit of a full show. Efficiency lost 51. If I always up that, probably lost about 20. <laughs> Ooh. I suppose they German for that many, to be honest. And then I guess he would have charged poor levy spirit units. On the move. <laughs> oh, right. you've hit the end as well, so I'll give an extra couple of seconds because you're going to need that fight here. It wasn't supposed to. It's supposed to just to slip them up like that. 
carry on moving down. I'm gonna just take these cities here. Hopefully, with our uh, entire province, it should be a little bit easier to keep. Uh, who are you anyway? You are Lublid. Who is this guy? You are an other noble. So your rank up does not give you any actual influence. Oh, we've got fucking tradition. All right, made me a bit happier. Buff up the military tax, and at the end of the day, that is our weak point. Gonna go and take this location. I can build here. Build a chapel. Because at the end of the day, we kind of we're gonna need some form of province holding capability and trying to appease them. Slash change all of their fucking bullshit. So now we've got the armies down here. Right, you're in here, nice and lovely. Oh, you've all been repaired already. All right, that's convenient. Commander. You go into the Senate. <coughs> you come back down into Rome because that's where we're going to need to be. Because these, wait, what? Well, Sicily, wasn't it? it was these guns, not these guns. If I could abolish taxes, you guys could be the first. I might just get rid of this unit in general. get rid of these guys. I think I'm gonna need the extra troops here. I'm not gonna need the extra troops there at all am I? There's no one here. So I may make you go that way. So what are the Croatians to me now? Military access for not actual military Come allies. then, speak. The people will consider what I hear. But you must... Fucking shit, man. All this work I do for you. How am I, sir? I don't want to attack it, it's got me right. Alright, we're going to end it there. This has been episode... <laughs> Actually, I don't know what the fucking episode this is, man. This is a later episode, I'll probably say... Seven or eight, maybe. I don't think we've done that many episodes. We should save it though. Fucking hell. I have a couple going. I've got a legendary save, I've got another fucking uh, Charlemagne save playing with Mercia. I think my Mercia game actually was one that I did a little bit to get used to Attila again. But I've been Carpus, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.